Two Little Soldiers Summary This story was written by Guy de Maupassant, a noted French writer. This story presents a triangular love story and frustration that leads to death of one character, Jean Corderain. The story has an unexpected ending, which is a special threat of Guy de Maupassant. Two little soldiers come out of their army barrack and take their right, they cross Corby Boy quickly and head towards Bajon. When they reach the breeze over the Sinai River, they stop for a long time and look down the river. It gives them pleasure and peace because it gives them the feeling of being at home. Then they cross the river and buy some sausages, bread and wine for lunch. Now they are out of village and walk slowly and talk a little bit. As soon as they are out of village, a forest starts. There is a narrow path between wet and outfield. It reminds them of their home. They walk happily with the memory of their home. They would talk about the field, flowers, scenes. They reach in the woods and there is a spot where they rest every Sunday. They eat breads, drink wine and cook their sausage on the tip of their knives. They lie on the ground after lunch. They lie side by side without speaking looking at distant. Towards noon, they glance time to time towards the billies of Bajon, a milkmaid with shining pail comes along the path. They are delighted to see her but do not dare to speak. Her sight makes them happy. Then she passes in front of them and goes to milk her cow nearby said she one sunday she speaks to them because she sees them every sunday at the same spot do you always come here locally ganidi stammers yes we come here to rest next sunday she asks them what are you doing here are you watching the grass grow? Locke D smiled and said, Perhaps she talks more for a few minutes. She goes to milk her cow and gives them milk on their wine butter. She talks about willies which reminds them of their home. She stands before them. They look at her feet, hips, her whole body. They look at her going her home until she is visible. Next Sunday, they bring her some candy. She likes their treat. She is happy to get such gift. They look at her eating and talking, being satisfied. She goes to milk her cow and comes back with milk and gives them to drink. She sits beside them for a longer time, then she starts eating and drinking with them. Suddenly, one Tuesday, Lockley Ganidi takes leaves in the morning and doesn't return until 10 o'clock at night. Jean worries and tries to understand his friend's problem. Following Sunday, Lockley borrows 10 cents and takes leave for many hours. Next Sunday, they go to usual place, but Lockley is disturbed. They don't feel hungry. The girl comes. Lockley goes near her. She puts her arm around his neck and kisses him. She does not care, Jill. They go to shed milk cow. Then they leave the pail on the grass and go into woods for a long time. They come back and she does not talk to Jean and leaves. Jin feels insulted, unmanned, neglected. He wants to cry, wants to run away from there. 
While they are returning, Jin feels very sad. They reach on the bridge over Shiny River. Jin lunch, leans on the railing down. He looks down and down. Lockley asks him, what's the matter? Do you want to drink? Jin's body is pulled down and he falls down into the river. Lockley is paralyzed and asks for help. Jin's body is found later on that day. Lockley can only say he leans for far over and his head carries him away. He can't say more than this. Interpretation of the story. The story presents a psychological reality of jealous envy and feeling of negligence on man brings frustration and depression. There is rivalry between platonic love and physical love. Platonic love feels defeated and can't bear the pain of love. Pain of lose. The ideal love can't bow down before physical love and it surrenders before the death. There is also the <coughs> insult and betrayal of the close friend and that betrayal is unbearable to the real friend who wants to have suicide and he jumps down into the river and dies.